Packers. Um, hey, I'm at home right now, and I've been over whenever I had some time on my Christmas vacation, or whatever it is now, because Christmas is over. Um, I've been going through old convention badges and stuff that I had hanging up. What I would do is after every event, I would hang my badge up on a little post, like a little nail or whatever, in uh, in my office area. And there's too many, so I got to do something with it. So I'm thinking, what do I do? Do I toss these? Do I keep them? You know, I got a little box of like memory stuff in here that I'm putting away in storage, you know, so do they go in there? Do I save them and keep them on display so they get bigger and bigger? It's a fucking mess in here, so I think I got to get rid of some of them, but maybe, you know, maybe I'll put them up in storage. You tell me, but I thought I'd just kind of go through them, uh, you know, D23. I think I'm probably going to keep the ones that really, you know, have the most uh, memory value, I guess, uh, you know, Minecon 2012 at Disneyland Paris, that was kind of a crazy situation, so, you know, I'm going to keep that, I'm going, that's going into storage, but you know what I mean, it's like, do I keep these and display it like, whoa, you've been to a lot of fucking events, or do, at some point, do you draw the line, you know what I mean, that's what I can't decide, but it's fun flipping through them, you know, got Comic-Con, Walking Dead, you know, how many of these do you keep, how many do you toss, uh, a lot of them I will keep if they have a cool lanyard, you know what I mean? Like maybe I'll use it again or, or, or maybe it's just got some ironic, you know, quality to it. Like this Wii U thing. I feel like Wii U stuff is only going to get better over time because the Wii U was such a weird system and you know, just, there's just going to be kind of an irony level to it that I might want to keep. Um, but let's see what else we got. E3, I don't know how many of you guys been to E3, but Yakuza 6 ad on this one, that was pretty tight. Um, Tyocon, what was this, Tyocon, just Tyocon, okay, enough said. Um, PlayStation Experience, now, who remembers this, you know, they didn't do one this year, I had badges, I, I think I had it for 2017, but it was too busy. There was a lot going on and I heard they weren't showing that much. So I didn't go. And then 2018, they didn't do it. It made me feel bad. Like I contributed to the downfall or something, but I'm sure it'll be back. That was a really cool event. This is in Anaheim. So it was pretty close to Disneyland, you know, which is always good in case you get bored, whatever. But the event was cool. Like I thought they handled it pretty, pretty damn well. Okay. Um, I was, a, I was a guest of Mixer. So that's cool. You know, not everyone is a guest of Mixer nowadays. Uh, Walking Dead has Walking Dead is on every single Comic Con badge for the past I don't know how many years five years, um, and this was the year that no one knew who the, Negan this character you know they didn't know who he beat up with the bat. Everyone was wondering like oh shit who died you know like they left it kind of a cliffhanger. So that I remember everyone was talking about that and I I thought that show had kind of like run its course. But that was a big thing in that show that, you know, walking around Comic-Con that year, everyone was talking about, oh, who's Negan going to kill? You know, that was kind of a big deal. So, you know, that was that was interesting. A show can kind of like find itself after six years or however long, seven, however long that was. Already saw that shit. I had two badges this year for E3. I don't know why that happened, but I did. PAX badges, they're pretty much all similar, you know, so... And what's, what's the lanyard on that? What's the lanyard on that? See, some of these, I put pins on in the conventions. Well, like while I'm there, someone will give me a pin or I'll buy one and I'll put it on the lanyard. And then I put the badge away and I don't remember that the pin is there. This is a badass pin. This is from Blaster Master. Did anybody play that game? You know, anybody out there? Big Blaster Master nut watching this. But anyway, the pin, I love that it had the rolling wheels on it. I got to keep that. I got to keep that. And this is the Monster Hunter World uh, lanyard, which is cool. That was a good game. Um, somebody gave me a Deadpool lanyard. So don't think, in, don't be thinking that that's not, you know, ironic or whatever. I think they were out of lanyards for, um, RTX and I couldn't get one and someone walked up and gave me the Deadpool one. So I used it happily. That's my excuse. Anyway, uh, the YouTube live at E3, they gave me one of these, uh, doing interviews on Jeff Keeley's thing. 
uh, that he does during E3, which is always a lot of, a lot of fun. He, I think he does a really good job on all the coverage. And uh, so, yeah, that was, you know, had to, they, it, it's weird because the way, the place that they film it is like a restaurant in a hotel. Uh, like they, they basically take everything out of the restaurant and make it a set for about two days. So you could just walk right up to it. It's not that hard. I mean, like you could be, you could just walk. I mean, you don't have to be anybody. You just walk right up and check it out. And uh, this badge they give you when you check in as a guest and you seriously wear it for like the two feet it takes to walk over to the couch where they're interviewing everybody. And then they tell you to take it off. Like, yeah, don't, don't wear that on camera. Don't wear that on camera. So it's always kind of funny to me. Like they make these badges for you to walk two feet. I don't know, but I appreciate it. It's a nice little keepsake, you know, got some memories attached. GDC. Uh, there was one year of GDC. We did GDC for, I think, 11 or 12 years, which is insane to think about. We we did this event. We made video stuff for this event for that long. And um, every single year, uh, they would give us free all-access badges, which is awesome because, you know, GDC can get kind of expensive. It's, it's meant to be an industry thing. It's not just... You know, Joe Schmo walks up off the street and buys a ticket. You know, it's kind of a big deal. And it's really only for industry people or, you know, s students, you know, and whatever. And, you know, stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to get a badge. But they would give us one. It was really cool to see stuff. Some some of it I didn't understand because I'm not a game developer. But, you know, it was a big honor to be there. And um, But one year at the beginning, they asked for my uh, profession. So they would put it on the badge, like producer or designer. And uh, I I don't remember if it was me or somebody else just didn't know what to put and just put Catman. And uh, I tried to get that changed every other year. You know, we would put we didn't have official game developer titles, so we would put uh, all kinds of funny stuff on everyone else's badges and change it every year. Every year I tried to change mine to either put something legitimate or just at least a different funny thing. And then someone would go behind my back either at Mega64 or at this organization and change it back to Catman. I know this was a prank against me. I know what they were trying to do, but I never got it changed, and we didn't go back last year, so I couldn't change it. So I'm forever Catman. Damn it. Packs, more packs badges. What other stuff we got here? Mafia 3. Do people like Mafia 3? Like, I feel like people dug it in the moment, and then it was kind of like the flaws showed, but, you know, I don't know. Seemed kind of cool to me. Of course, my favorite badge. <laughs> one of our game days badges. This was from 2016. This might be my favorite one, actually. What did we do for 2017? Oh, it was kind of like a camp theme. A uh, wilderness theme uh, for 2017. And then 2018, we had kind of a Mary Blair-esque, Small World-esque uh, theme. But I really liked... We This year had like a virtual theme. Uh, where everything was red and black. Kind of like Virtual Boy type stuff. And, of course, Funimation every year has provided us with lanyards, so that's on there. But, you know, see, there's buttons on here, too. You find stuff. Um, what is this? Kurt Days, 16. So that was, a you know, a simultaneous event by another corporation, you know. Um, what do we got over here? Sailor Rock. Okay, now what is this? Now, see, this is kind of cool. Anime Expo, you know, we always get a badge for that. You know, this is for 2016. But a lot of times people will bring us, like, their own, like, badges, like, so that we can clip them on. And I, I really love that. Sailor Rocco. I want to make sure they're in. Hold on. I'm going to hide the camera because I don't know if their info is on. The, oh, no. Okay. It was by Sparky Roar. Okay. I want to make sure it wasn't, like, you know, personal data or something like that. Like, like real names or tax info or something but anyway i really like that uh i think they did another one somewhere around here but i don't know where it is more anime expo stuff persona ad on there all you persona nuts see there's another pin right here this is a small uh helmet pin that we did a long time ago now we did these for the conventions but we thought they were too small so we sold them real cheap and then we did a better version bigger version later I thought they were better, bigger, but some people like the smaller ones, so whatever. Um, what else we got here? Mar see, see, I love, I love um, lanyards or, or just advertising promo stuff in general that advertises a very specific thing from a specific time because they're fun to look at, you know, like 
Mario Odyssey, how much hype there was at E3 the year that that came out, you know. So I, I like having, you know, hanging on to shit like that. Where in, like 10 years from now, you pull that up and it's like, whoa, there's like Mario Odyssey specific stuff, you know. Like the more specific to me, the more I enjoy it. I used to hate shirts that had like a specific date or, or an, a, an event on them, you know, like, oh, I was at, you know, the Aquabats House of Blues, December 7th, 2018. But now I would buy that shirt because I love looking back on it 10 years later. And, you know, it's just, they don't, that's the kind of stuff they don't make again. You know what I mean? So I, I've, I've grown to appreciate it. Here's our game day's badge. Uh, yeah, from 2017. I thought that turned out really good. Jason Cryer did a great job with that. What is this? Oh, this was kind of a snap. Well, this is kind of a situation here. Uh, Crunchyroll invited us in 2017 and gave us guest badges, but we were uh, we were guests, but we were also exhibitors, and they told us this badge would work for anything we wanted to do. But we got into we ran into trouble all the time because we'd try to go on the show floor to set up, and security there would be like, "You're not." It, it doesn't say exhibitor; it says guest. Who the hell are you? What kind of guest are you? And we got grilled every day. So I hope they ironed that out the next year. But we weren't there the next year. But it was a great event. Uh, we really enjoyed Crunchy World Expo. I really hope we can do it again. I think last year it was the same time as PAX, so that didn't really work out either way, but I really like that event. Hope we can go back. Uh, what else we got here? Is there anything? See what I mean? Look at this. Look at this. Breath of the Wild lanyard. Like, that's that's cool, and I'd love to, like, use that at a con, again, like, eight years from now. That'd be really fun. I mean, I don't know how fun it would really be, but, you know. That was for E3. I feel like they were advertising Persona 5 at about a thousand different conventions. Not that I'm complaining. I'm sure it's great. I haven't really played it. I'm waiting for it to be out on Switch. That's what I'm waiting for. SGC. Ooh, okay. That might have been one of my favorite conventions. Top top three favorite conventions, at least, for sure. Um, because Screw Attack would put this on. Now, th this is where I'm supposed to be in character and tell you what, you know, Crooks, Screw Attack are and were and and you know these guys you know stuttering craig was a jerk and all that stuff you know that's that's what i was that's what i'm supposed to do here but sgc was like a 24-hour party uh it was everything was open uh the entire time um you know they had arcades 24 hours people were just like Watch it like in the middle of the night, you could go into a room and Stuttering Craig is trying to beat Mike Tyson and punch out over and over until four in the morning. Like it was just an amazing event. And uh, I really, really enjoyed that con. So yeah, shout out SGC. Fantastic event. I wish they still did them. I think they're trying to do something to that effect. Um, the guys at Game Attack, now that uh, the guys that ran this, they're, they're Game Attack now. And I think they're trying to do something. We'll see what happens, but I'd love to go. Um, okay, this was another um, Sparky Roar did this one too. Screw that, but uh, Jasmine in effect. Uh, she did a lot of the stickers uh, for our Patreon once. Like, she did all these cosplayers characters, and uh, we, we thought the art was so cool that uh, we gave them out as Patreon gifts at one point. But this is Anime Expo. And then... Uh, Power Morphicon, um, what year was this, does it say, what does that mean, Yellow Ranger, Blue Ranger, I was both, what is this, hmm, I don't remember what year, wait, what year is, what, this must have been like 2014 or something, or 20, I don't know what the hell it was, but anyway, uh, this was cool. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. What else you want me to say? What do you want me to tell you? You know, I'm trying to, you know, this was our 2015 badge for game days, and I thought that turned out really nice. Uh, this was during the uh, 50, or sorry, 60th anniversary of Disneyland, so everything was really, like, diamond-themed and blue and silver. And then we had the silver, oh, the silver lanyards for were from the Behemoth. I thought they were from Funimation that year, but I guess I was wrong. Um, this was kind of a cool lanyard from uh, the it was the anniversary of Mario, so it was the I think, kind of a Mario Maker, kind of a Mario Maker themed, right? Uh, Mario thirtieth anniversary, whatever. Uh, e three badge with Persona involved. Uh, this is a pretty tight Dragon Ball 
Rainier. I don't know what else there is to say. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe the best event of all. Look at that. This was the pass for um, Knott's Berry Farm Boysenberry Festival. Uh, you would wear this lanyard around. If you bought this lanyard, which I think it was like 25, I don't know how much, 30? I don't remember. But you could just walk to each booth that sold these things and they would have to just give it to you. Like you would, you know, you basically you buy this ticket, you can eat around the entire park and never stop. And I think this was the most food I've ever eaten because we had a whole chicken dinner before we ate all this. You can see the video on my channel. Look up the Boysenberry Festival. And uh, I think I hurt the worst I'd ever hurt. Uh, very miserable situation. Very sad. Anyway, uh, what else we got here? Sabacon, we just did that um, in Vegas. I don't know what any of this meant. They gave him this badge. This was, this was a lot of fun. This event was great. But the badge said Brooklyn Elmenia Cleric Sabacon Hero Academy. I don't know what that means. Is that a My Hero Academia reference? Because I haven't seen that. I don't know what that is. But, and, uh, you know, anyway. Cool. Cool people running that event. I like them. Anime Expo again. Is there another... Another Morphicon thing in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, this was the 2014 badge for Power Morphicon, which I love the Gokaiju Rangers, the, uh, the, you know, pirate, their pirate theme. Which, let me just say how stupid this was. In Japan, they put out this show. It's called Gokaiju. And it's pirate themed. So you could see like that. It's like he's got, he's a pirate and they use the powers of old past Rangers. It was so sick. They would keep the little, little Ranger keys in their belt and they would use them to turn into past Rangers. So cool. When they adapted it for America, they thought, oh, pirates are too nasty. They're too, ew, no. Oh, we can't have pirates. Why would we want pirates? So they didn't acknowledge they were pirates. Like what? What are they? Like, they got, it, it looks like the skull and crossbones on their, you know, whatever. Oh, no, pirates are nasty. We're not going to, we're not going to, you know, we're not even going to bring that up. What a missed opportunity. They got a fucking musket. He's got a musket. What were they thinking? Anyway, whatever. But So that was the badge. But why I love this is I got a card from Pineapple the Clown, the guy who played Pineapple the Damn Clown in one of the first episodes of Power Rangers, uh... We, he was there. I never pay for people's autographs or buy photos or anything. I just don't. That is just not something that's valuable to me, but I had to with them because it was such a bizarre opportunity. He was in the outfit and everything, and it was just too surreal. So, shout out pa Pineapple the Clown. <laughs> anyway, that might be it. I don't know. What else do we need to see here? Media. What's media? Oh, this was a media badge for Star Wars Celebration. And um, I remember they they gave me a media badge, which I was really stoked about. But then I didn't know who this was. And that kind of set the tone. Like, I was really excited to go to the Star Wars, the official Star Wars convention. But when I walked in, I, there was so much I didn't recognize. And I didn't know who the hell this was that I thought, you know what? I think Star Wars is bigger than kind of like what I'm comfortable with. Like, all I really care about is the three old movies. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and I like the universe. So there's stuff I, there is stuff I like in the prequels. I don't think they're good movies, but you know, it's that universe I really enjoy and I enjoy the, the new movies, but really all I really fucking focus on is those three old ones. And, um, uh, yeah, when I got this, I was just like, oh no, I'm going to be the outcast here. And I, yeah, I mean, I kind of was, but there was some cool stuff there. I, you know, I'd go back, I guess, but it's weird. That's an old, old ass. Well, 2013 anime expo badge. That might be it, everybody. So what do you think? Should I keep this stuff? You know, is this the kind of stuff like, do you, you know, you keep this hanging, this wall of, you know, badges, you keep it hanging somewhere to show like, look at how many events I went. Or do you just toss that shit? You know what I mean? Or third option, do you just keep it in a box of memories like I'm putting in the attic right now? You know what I mean? There's a lot of, a lot of good stuff in here. But I'm not going to show you. Oh no, I will show you. Look at this. Look at this. These are the pamphlets they would put in old uh, Power Rangers toys, and it's really fun to look at because it's like, what's coming soon in 1994, you know, and I keep this stuff. 
I don't keep the boxes or anything like that, but I would keep like just the little things that are easy to hang on to. The Thunder Power Zord system. And I remember looking at this as a kid, just being like, who the hell is Tor the Shuttle Zord? Like, what are we talking? Like, Red Dragon Thunders? I remember uh, getting a phone call from uh, a family friend. They called my parents, and they were like, does your son have the Red Dragon Thunder Zord? And I was like, what the hell even is that? I've never even seen it. What is it? And uh, that showed up at my house, and I think that I think this was inside it, which is kind of cool, you know. Just look at that. Anyway, there's the Power Rangers video games. Like this is these were brand new. These weren't even out yet when this came out. You know, like weird to think about. Time, man. Time's a bitch. Anyway, there you go. What should I do? Tell me. Comment. Give your two cents. Give your give your three cents if you want. Shit.